So in this video, I will show you how you will start tracing your PCB. So for tracing your PCB, you have to select a different tool. So rather than the net tool. So for tracing PCB, you have to select the route ARIS tool. So in so you so before tracing PCB, just select, just click on this tool, and you will see that there are few options you will see in the top side of the uh, toolbar. So this is the options you have to uh, change while you are designing your PCB, right? So we'll change those options later. Normally you will see that this this the width is normally six, and all the unit is you will see here in the unit of mil because you have selected in your EPUCU bridge selection you have selected the unit system as mil that's why you will see all the value in mil right so if you don't see like me that means you have a different unit selection okay you have to change that unit from your grid options okay that's okay for us but just select this uh, route tool and after selecting route tool so you have to just click on your mouse pointer and after that you will follow your um, that is called the guide for the PCB, right? So you that uh, that is also called the unrouted IR. So you will follow you always follow the unrouted IR to connect the uh, components with one components with another, right? So in this way, you will see that there is a sound, and this sound means that you have connected the one component to another component perfectly, right? So after that, I will go. I'm going to connect with the bypass capacitor. See, this is so easy. And the similar way I can just connect with the ground line. This is the ground line for the power supply. So another thing you have seen that while you are just turning your um, trace for the different direction, you have seen that the angle is uh, around that is that is called the 45 degree angle. Angle is 45 degree. So the reason behind this is because there is an option for selecting angle C or select band, or band. So this will decide what will be your um, band or angle size, right? So if you select the 90 degree, you, you have to bend your wire to the 90 degree. If you select the other options, so most of the case, you have to select your wire for 45 degree. So I will explain later why you have to select your wire for 45 degree. So that this is, the, this is for the beginning tutorial for the tracing your PCB. So that's why I'm just making things little complex, less complex. Okay, so that's it. But the problem with this type of uh, routing is that this, this actually this trace is so thin that so so if your um, PCB just draw a lot of current, if your all the components draw a lot of current, norm normally then this trace is not a standard for power supply, right? So for tracing your power supply, you have to uh, most of the cases you have to draw your traces uh, normally. Uh, thicker than the other traces but there is no standard or uh, there is also you can also calculate your what, what would be the trace width what would be the trace width uh, minimum trace width you can calculate from just if you search how to calculate google trace width you will see that there are a lot of options which you you have to put your current um, actual rated current and after that you will get the width but normally how will we design embedded system uh, to keep things simple, I normally uh, make this trace more than 24 mil or close to 32 mil or more than 40 mil or 50 mil. So you have the flexibility to do this for the embedded system circuit. But for the power electronic circuit, tracing or calculating those traces are very sensitive. So I'm not going to uh, just discuss on those topic right now because our main purpose is to just learn the tool, not the theory. Okay, that's it. So I think uh, you have uh, you have learned how to draw your trace. So and you, are, you also have to know the how to delete your trace because if you want to update the, this trace first you have to delete this trace right so if you need to delete, this, delete the trace we have to select the rip up tool so this is the rip up tool which will help you to delete the, delete the trace so just click on the trace and after that you can just read out the trace so now i will just read out the trace again so for this reason i'm just i need to change the width because I have discussed before that you have to make your power supply trace thicker than normal other traces. So normally we will use uh, 12 mil or 10 mil for tracing the hours, all the signal lines. But for the power supply, I will select uh, around 40. So I think 40 is good for this PCB. See, so similarly you have to delete the rest of the traces, uh, rest of the actually thin traces.
so this is the last one I have to delete okay that's all for starting out PCB tracing so we will discuss rest of the thing in the next video